It is also new to me. <laughs> okay, our organization, MRPH, is delighted with you sharing your afternoon with us as we revolutionize the pageantry in the Philippines. It is indeed a privilege to be part of this team that will bring exciting developments not only here in the Philippines, but in every corner of the world where Filipino communities exist. True to its commitment of connecting Filipinos around the world, we are launching, next slide please, We're launching a network of Philippine pageants that will truly champion the values, advocacies, culture, and heritage of Filipino people. First and foremost among these pageants is Miss, next slide please, Miss Universe Philippines, which is undoubtedly the country's number one pageant, breaking records every year in terms of viewership, engagement, and following. Sabi nga nila, kapag Miss Universe Finals na walang sasakyan sa kalsada, maraming absent sa opisina, at libre ang gupit pag ang nakoronahan ay isang Pilipina. <laughs> okay. The next pageant that we have on our plate is actually what just we just introduced this afternoon. This is Mr. Pilipinas Worldwide. The pageant is actually a consolidation of three male pageants that we already have. The Mr. Supranational, Manhunt International, and Mr. Global. Now, Mr. Filipinas Worldwide is going to be the first international competition that will bring together men of Filipino descent in one event, all championing Filipino culture and heritage. Lastly, our MRPH organization is introducing the newest, most innovative, and modern pageant in the country, the Miss Philippines Fashion and Beauty Pageant. Delegates will come from any province or city in the country, as well as in any Filipino communities around the world. Thus, you will see Miss Philippines Canada competing with Miss Philippines California, as well as with Miss Philippines Palawan, so on and so forth. With all these three pageants that we are introducing this year, we are going to give several major titles that are to be awarded in just one year. And the wonderful thing, or wonderful thing about this is that you, our partners, our friends, and even business people can be a part of it. MRPH is the proven partner of the world's most followed beauty pageants with a much track record in mounting the grandest and most viewed shows, is now searching, scouting for ambassadors who will be our crucial partners in revolutionizing the Philippine pageantry, beginning with our accredited partners program. A successful applicant who will, who will be appointed as our accredited partner for a particular city, province, or Filipino community will be, um, will have the privilege of, of holding your own search and pageant to choose your official delegate. In other words, there's no other way for a delegate or candidate to be able to join our, our pageant if not through our accredited partners. There is no other way. Without the blessing of our accredited partners, you cannot represent your area, your city, your province, or Filipino community. And not only that, you also have, as our accredited partner, you will have the privilege of training your own delegates. If holding a local pageant is not feasible for one way or the other, although we will truly convince you to hold one, you will also be given the privilege of just casting. From before, you used to send your delegates to us and we screen them, now that power belongs to our accredited partners. You now determine who will be your official delegate for your area. With your own local version of the top pageants, you now have the means to move and motivate hundreds or maybe thousands of people in your area. As pageants remain to be the one, to be, the, to be one of the most loved forms of entertainment in the Philippines, 
across different ages and socioeconomic classes, it would be a lot easier for you to engage them to your various causes and advocacies. Kung yung tatlong pageants na yan ay hindi pasapat, okay? We're giving you something really, really new. Something that we are only launching this year. And simply put, kaching, kaching, kaching. Okay? With Empire's plan of merchandising the popular pageants that we own, you now have the privilege of distributing shirts, bags, shoes, beauty products, and more. Definitely another avenue for you to make an income out of your burning passion for pageantry. Details of which will be discussed to you by my, my colleague, Mr. Mike Lee, later on. With all these developments shared with you this afternoon, my friends, we encourage you to take the big leap. Come and be a partner with Empire of Beauty and Fashion. Flashed on the screen now would be the requirements to qualify, which we already showed to you. <laughs> of course, we have to take into account that once you become a partner of Empire PH, you will also be given the marketing support, the expertise of the people behind the organization who are considered experts in their own fields. For the requirements to qualify as an accredited partner, First and foremost, you have to be 21 years old. Next slide, please. Yeah. You must have a proven track record in organizing events, or if not, you have the ability to hire the services of a pageant director. Must be financially capable. Must have a clear understanding of our mission and vision in MRPH. Must agree and adhere to the program's rule and guidelines. Must have a venue and logistics. And must have an impeccable plan regarding these uh, developments. Our selection process, as shown in the slide, we already started the application um, screening last April 13, and we're about to dis uh, disclose the first batch in, 20 in April 27. I just have to add here that we already scheduled an orientation seminar, a two-day orientation seminar to be conducted by Ms. Shamsi Subsubli and Lloyd Lee. This is to expound on our program, deadline of which will be on May 15. Last slide, uh, okay. The application forms, um, it's available in this site. My name, my number, and my email address shown in, flash in the, on the screen. So that, my friends, basically is what our accredited program is all about. Before I end my presentation, let me share something. Something that just came across my mind while driving to this venue. We have some APs around already. Sa aming mga mahal na APs at magiging APs, huwag matakot sa accreditation fees o kaya kahit ano pang fees. Okay? Kami sa Empire ay inyong kakampi. Gusto namin tayo'y pakape-kape. Pero hindi pa easy-easy. Habang ang pera ninyo ay aming tinitriple. Good afternoon to everybody. That is our accredited uh, program. At this point, shout out to lang. We already have 10 successful accredited partners as of this day. And uh, we'll begin with the number one accredited partner. Mr. Cap Renan Eusebio of Bulacan. Our partner is coming all the way from Occidental Mindoro, RJ Bourbon. Unfortunately, he cannot make it this afternoon. And then the next, we have all the way from the Filipino community in Canada, we have Maharlika Mirasol, also doing it for Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Next would be Jory Rivera, there at the back. Jory is going to be our accredited partner for CDO, Cagayan de Oro, as well as Misamis Oriental. For Aurora Province, we have Kevin Sanchez. 
Randolph Castillo and Maximilian Humoso for Cagayan Province, Sam Zumbiro for Tagum City, and lastly, Rowena Diaz. Next week, we're coming out with another 10 names of our accredited partners. So all in all, we have 82 provinces in the Philippines, and we have a lot of communities around the world. So you can just imagine our budget next year. We might have, what, 100 delegates? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. That's a credited program of MRP. Thank you, Mr. Joseph Rivera. Indeed, it's not only a warm welcome, but also a congratulatory message um, in the works and in the making. All right, to keep the excitement bubbling up, let's call on our Director for Consumer Products and Creative Partnerships, because that's what pageantry is all about. We're putting the beauty in pageantry, not just because it's uh, helping out our delegates to be show up the, as the best version of themselves, but also to help our communities as well. Let's give the floor to Mr. Mike Lee. Uh, hey everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Lee and I am the Director for Consumer Products and Creative Partnerships. So what's new is uh, you saw the suite of brands that Empire uh, is in charge of. Our task and our mission is to create a uh, business, you know, to drive uh, business out of the lifestyle that is represented by these brands. So one thing that's very interesting um, about all of this that's happening is that it is well connected to the Filipino uh, culture, you know, of, of representation. Every, having a, 116 key cities all over the Philippines, you know, that can translate into something more meaningful. So, like, uh, the, the gentlemen and the women that are uh, representing their hometowns, you know, they can play a very vital role. You know, as I've learned from speaking to some of our APs, you know, it's, it's very, uh, it's a platform that we can very well maximize, you know. Uh, just to cite an example, you know, some cities, it is a surprise to me that Bulacan, you know, not, not, I know them for being popular for about leather, uh, but now I, I, I discovered they're very good at embroidery. Uh, Mr. Yusebe told me there's a lot of uh, waterfalls, uh, hidden gems in the, in the Bulacan area that nobody knows about. And you know what? what it, why don't we use this platform to work with Miss Bulacan and Mr. Bulacan to to bring that out, to tell everybody about the beauty in Bulacan. And if every city can do that, you know, that can translate into something greater. And my task is really beyond the pageantry, because uh, that I leave to my colleagues, the expertise of the pageantry world, but mine would be more on the business side, because as Mr. Yusef, you said, tourism is not just about pasyal pasyal. It's, means that it's about the food, it's about the products, what your local hometown has to offer. And you know, this platform, it allows us to put a face in to represent your hometown. You know, every, I think you guys in the, know very well that in the world of marketing, it's very important to have representation. The brands that you love, sometimes it helps to have a beautiful face there, or you know, someone you aspire to be. Thus, endorsement works. So here you go. The brand ambassadors of each of the, these cities can work to your advantage. You know, together we can create opportunities, not only for ourselves, huh? but more importantly, to, the, to your constituents, to your communities. You know, and all of this man, is driven by passion. By, by our urge to, to uh, uplift the Filipinos. Uh, the vision of Mr. Gafud for these competitions is, you know, for the global citizen, the global Filipino, to let everybody know what we're all about. So we're bringing the Philippines on a global stage. I think that's very important. And that's why the AP system is very important also. Because then there will be management there will be targeted efforts. Every city. It's interesting that some cities would call Joseph and I and say, Bakit yung city namin walang representation? Well, 
talk to him. <laughs> you can always do that because you know um, it's very important to put our name out there, and I think this platform will help us do that. No, so I I hope uh, that you guys can appreciate. No, that's why our APs will play a very vital role in the coming seasons on how well we can do this. Uh, the tourism, the enterprise, and uh, of course, the prestige that comes out of these events, you know, really depends on how we steer this boat, so to speak. So I am looking forward, I'm very honored to be part of the team, and I'm really looking forward to making change, to uh, working with all my colleagues, with you guys, and helping us, you know, make uh, Philippines a better place. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike Lee, indeed, Mr. Filipinas Worldwide, and the various titles under NPRTH are not only empowering and business savvy, but they also have a, a heart and a soul too. That's a really good reminder. Thank you so much to both of our presenters for enlightening us all. I'm sure learned a lesson or two here, and I'm looking forward to finding out finding out who will heed the call to fulfill such important roles such as these. Now, I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats by now, and I'm getting a little antsy myself. I'm sure our media friends are bursting at the scenes with excitement and eagerness, so uh, you'll have to ask your burning questions within our designated microphones, and um, do have to put out an advisory that we should keep it professional. Kidding aside, I think you, we can all get a little bit personal with our delegates this time.